Tell me, how did it all start? Well, it went more or less like this. Yours, yours, mine, yours, yours, mine. What do you mean, mine? That screw cap is mine. Eunice gave it to me. No way, Toe Bubble. I won it last year at the fair thing. The Remembrance Day? You weren't even there. And don't call me that. I'm an officer of the law now. Well, excuse me, Sergeant Officer Constable of the Law. It doesn't even make sense. You don't make sense. That was... This one is mine, this one is mine, this one is definitely mine. That was never yours. But we're never gonna settle this. Let's just split it. 60-40. No. 60-50. What? 60-60? Deal? Oh, that doesn't even add up. Oh, uh, right. Then let's... Let fate decide. The die! I call odds. Evens. No, I'm evens. No, odds. No. Matt. Evens. Evens? Both are evens. Matt. Both are equally likely. It's probability. I'm evens! Even, even, even. Okay. You're evens. Nah, I see what you're doing. I'm odd. No question there. I summon the cosmic power of the all-seeing, all-knowing die. On with it. And here we go. Yes! Uh, you lost, Matt. Ah, oh, furs. Well, you gonna help me out or what? Seems like you got all of them. Oh, there's more stuff outside. Don't you worry. Great. I'm a year again already? Don't start. Come on, give us a hand with that. All right. All right, and with that, we're right into the gameplay. These are Matt and Toby. Yes. Um, so right now it's moving day, and uh, Toby's actually moving out of uh, Matt and Toby's shared uh, home for the last whatever many years, mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Um, They've been best friends for a while. Yes, they're best friends, uh, but uh, Toby's actually becoming a guard right now, so um, he's moving hey, right over, wait, up, uh, over, there, there's a door, um, <laughs> <laughs> into the right. guard quarters, so not too far away. Um, and yeah, we are now helping him carry his stuff over there. Um, so yeah, right now we're in the red commune, which is like a little, um, Abandoned wine cellar of sorts, um, and hey, not only wine, as you can see, there's a lot like a general yeah. cellar. Yeah, yeah. yeah storing yeah. a lot of things, um, but not really used by the humans anymore. So the rats kind of just took over, um, and uh, yeah, as you can see, they really made themselves a home here. Um, you can see all the little, almost like living places they they uh, built over the years. You can see maybe if I can show you right here. There's even like a little uh, cultivation box uh, <laughs> on the left there. Yeah. And um, some spring onions. Very nice. Uh, so, yeah, but um, yeah, we're just now helping Toby move his, his belongings into the guard quarters. And um, uh, Matt himself actually um, is about to have his own uh, kind of like a qualification check for right. um, for Boot becoming camp. a scavenger yeah. yeah so he's he doesn't aim to be a guard he uh, wants to be a scavenger because uh, the scavenger rats are the ones that go into the adjacent uh, house that actually still <laughs> has humans living in them right. um, and he wants to, uh, uh, yeah no scavengers uh, kind of grab the the food from the house and bring it over here as you can see here they already grabbed quite some supply of cheese oh, over the years. They're set up quite well. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, so most of the rats don't actually go over to the house. Um, it's only the scavengers that do the supply runs. And then we have other jobs like the, the guards um, that, you know, guard things. <laughs> I think that makes sense. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And there's actually a reason for Matt uh, um, 
to become a scavenger because he wants to meet his friend who's been uh, living in the house as a, a pet mouse to the human or the human girl that lives there mm -hmm. specifically. Mm -hmm. um, and so we'll actually uh, skip ahead now and uh, check out um, the scavenger trial where we can yep. see uh, Matt uh, trying to become a scavenger and proving that he's capable of being a scavenger. Get some gameplay going. Okay, yes. let's go. Uh, yeah, right about here. Um, the rats kind of build like a, a little parkour uh, mm -hmm. to test if, um, if the rats will be able to handle the, the dangers that await uh, over in the uh, in the human house the potential dangers you can see them like kind of uh, use, like uh, handling the uh, obstacles themselves you can like see them swinging over right. there in the boots and everything and uh, so yeah the scavenger trial uh, in order to beat it um, we will have to activate this uh, kind of a kitchen clock um, to set a timer for ourselves and we have to activate three bells around the course in order to pass the trial within the time limit, of course. Of course. Um, so yeah, it this is a time sensitive uh, yes. mission. I like how they used like actual human boots <laughs> that would kick. Yeah, yeah whatever you know, they like, found lying around. Right? That would kind of kick the rats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll uh, try to navigate this obstacle course as quick as we can and get to that first bell. We can kind of follow these like little graffiti arrows mm -hmm. that the rats spray painted there apparently. Um, and as you can see, we already reached the first bell and we can kind of you know, just hit it with our tail and move on to Tip the next one. Yeah. 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 So as Matt's a, a rat, of course, he has a, a lot of rat-like movement options so we can uh, balance over things, we can uh, hang on to walls, we can... Just climb any, anything climb, yeah. climbable, really. We're very agile. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, let's try to get through here and back into the main course. Right. Uh, we can also crawl and then jump a bit further. Oh, oh Ooh, that was close. <laughs> caught, caught myself in the last second. <laughs> Nice. Wouldn't want to make it too uh, too easy here. No, obviously. Yes. A little bit of tension and excitement. <laughs> All right. I think we're making good progress. So I guess it's safe to say platforming is one of the core gameplay elements yes. of uh, Red's Quest, which in at its core I guess is an action adventure. Yeah, it's or it's very it's a very like story based action adventure mm -hmm. game. Um, you do have a lot of platforming and then some. As you can see right now, some platforming challenges. Um, in this moment, we're actually inside the wall, so this is more of like a 2D section, yep. uh, side-scroller kind of uh, level since the walls are very tight here. So, um, yeah, can't move into the foreground. But right. Uh, now we're back in full 2D gameplay. And, and later on, there will be some combat as well. Yes, exactly. We have uh, some, some combat and boss fights even. Right. Um, and also a, a variety of like almost mini game like sequences where you slide and, mm -hmm. and uh, fly and mm -hmm. you all the good everything stuff. Everything you can yep. imagine. Anything a rat could dream of. Alright, so we got the third bell. Alright. So uh, we skipped ahead a little bit and now we're inside the house um, where Matt is trying to visit um, his old friend uh, inside the room of the little girl that's living inside the house. Um, and um, yeah, right now we're actually entering the kitchen, uh, which is a few rooms away from where we need to be. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Okay, yes. So I guess it's it's uh, worth mentioning that 
while he's now a scavenger, he's still technically not supposed to be all the way up here. Oh yeah, right, yeah, he kind of uh, snuck away from the rest of the scavenging team, um, since usually they just scavenge uh, in the basement. Right. Um, but now, yeah, we're in the kitchen on our way to um, yeah, visit our friend and uh, see her for the first time in potentially years. Um, and yeah, this is a good section to kind of showcase um, the different paths that we can now take. So we have to get over there to that kind of supply cabinet uh, looking thing. And um, yeah, so you can already see I just climbed uh, alongside the oven here. And now if we could, for example, just jump over here onto the table and then make our way over there. Um, but, uh, or fall down. Or fall down. That was, <laughs> of course, on purpose. Of course. Um, but we could also... Try a little different route over here. Um, as you can see, there's like little handles and uh, there's a cabinet or we can use this, this uh, cookie box and maybe grab this cookie box up here and jump even further and then we use this cabinet, use the door frame even. So you have nice. options here, we can, we can uh, make our way this, maybe do like a <laughs> leap of fate, I can even and fall right nice. there. Nice. Maybe break a leg or two on the way. Nice. Um, but yeah, so you, you have different options. You can climb the, the railing on the fridge there, or maybe use that chair. Um, many options to reach the same goal in the end. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of make your own way through the levels. And um, you can also see a little note here that uh, Amy, the little girl, left for her dad. So there's even a, a little backstory. Um, that you can find um, regarding the humans that live in the house. And if you're uh, very uh, explorative and kind of mm -hmm. uh, look around a bit, um, you can kind of piece of together a story um, about these humans too. So it's not just the, the rats that are uh, get all the spotlight. Yeah, there's a lot of environmental storytelling going on, I think. And we'll just use this little elevator here, and maybe skip ahead a little um, to to the upper floor um, so as you can see now um, this is kind of a hallway maybe you can even hear the the dad snoring uh, through the door if you're standing very close and um, yeah so the room right up ahead is uh, Amy's room which is our goal eventually you can see a little hole there um, maybe I can actually show you a bit more of the house since everything is really um, it's really open and can be mm -hmm. explored. Um, and these are places where later in the game we'd also have to you know, find things or, or mm -hmm. make our way through. Right now we can kind of just look at them anyways. Uh, so here is a stairway and then we're right in the living room. Um, there's a little dining room over here. Um, it's a nice house. Yeah, the kitchen is actually <laughs> right there, this door. Ah, so uh, if the door hadn't been closed, we could have just taken yeah. the stairs. Since matters are red, it's kind of hard to open doors. Right. Um, <laughs> so we kind of have to find a way to get uh, to where we want to be. Um, so anyways, let's try to get back up. Um, the staircase is actually under construction right now, so it's a bit harder because this is a bit too high for us. But uh, luckily there are some nails here, which we can use to get back up here. Perfect. Um, and yeah, so there's many opportunities like that to use Matt's abilities and do some uh, creative platforming mm -hmm. and everything that looks like it could be held on, for example, usually can be held on to. So um, yeah, we were also very interested to see what the speedrunners <laughs> eventually will do. <laughs> yeah, that'll be and interesting. Which crazy path they will find that we didn't even think about. Um, yeah, but for now, let's uh, head right into Amy's room and uh, hopefully uh, meet Nat there. So if this is its volume when it's underwater, and this is the density of the water... Oh, no, no. It'll sink! Unless the surface is made of... Oh, where's that thing? It was right here, I'm sure it... Nat, the house mouse. Inventor mastermind. Oh. My. Fur. I'm gonna punch him! I'm gonna punch him right in the nose. Okay? Breathe. Matt the Rat, the agile escape artist. We meet again. We sure do. Matt, come this way. I have something to show you. 
Yeah, yeah, I'll be there in a sec. Oh, will you? Be in a sec? Last time you said that was eons ago. You can already see her kind of moving through like a tunnel system that uh, Amy built for her. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yep. And uh, so yeah, she kind of ended up on the shelf up there. Um, so again, we have to find a way to get up there and meet up with her here. And for that, um, can maybe also show you there's a a goal system here that mm -hmm. kind of tells us uh, or hints towards a certain uh, point uh, where it would make sense for us to go and able to reach the so goal that we're trying to reach. Mm -hmm. um, so if you're ever confused, you can also see PD down here, uh, the, the other pet mouse that, um, that Amy has, um, not as talkative as the rest of <laughs> the mice and rats in the game. Though. Right. Um, and yeah, later on, um, We'll also be able to explore some areas outside of the house. Um, uh, maybe some unforeseen circumstances kind of force us mm -hmm. uh, to, yeah, explore the let's call it wilderness around the right. house. And um, yeah, I mean, their their main goal here right now is to sort of um, leave the house together, right? I mean, they. They're obviously kind of in love. Yes. They, they've not talked about this, I think, <laughs> but uh, each of them knows, yeah. I would say. And I, th I um, think uh, Ned has uh, already big plans for right. um, how they will eventually escape. Um, but then Matt wasn't able to get back to her for a while since he yeah. wasn't a scavenger, so he couldn't leave the Red Commune. Yeah. Um, and now that they are back, uh, let's see what they're planning. <laughs> Neat! Doesn't that mean... That I'm now officially the bravest, strongest, and best-looking scavenger rat in the commune? Yes, that is correct. You get all that from a pouch. <laughs> and what happened to the whole, I don't need anyone to tell me I'm a scavenger? I was born a scavenger! Huh? Well, if you must know, earning the scavenger title was one of the gazillion things I had to do to be able to come up here to be with you. Oh, that's so sweet. You think so? Yeah, you saying big, long words like gazillion. I like it. <laughs> well, anyways. Hey, we need adhesive tape. What? Yep. Ad no, ad he ad ad <laughs> we need to get it, not spell it. It's a round, white, sticky thingy. I'm sure you can scavenge some from somewhere. Got it. Be right back with the add something tape. Add he sieve. Tomato, potato. Unbelievable. Adhesive, advisive. No, administrative. I, I was, I, I'll just yes. go get it. Yes. Um, all right. I think that's all um, we can show today. Um, but yeah, keep an eye out for more things. Uh, we'll definitely share more in the future. Yeah. And um, there's quite the adventure ahead for sure. Yes, this is all, it's all just starting out. It's mm -hmm. only getting more exciting from here.